Question time is at 10.50 here on BBC One after an extended news with Hugh Edwards. Baghdad tonight under heavy bombardment on the day the war started. American and British troops are in action on land, sea and in the air. The massive ground assault is underway. The Americans warn it is just a taste of things to come. Dozens of cruise missiles fired at targets, including the homes of Saddam Hussein. More on the way. Here in Britain, America's B-52s prime for action. And the Prime Minister now confirms Britain's involvement. Tonight, British servicemen and women are engaged from air, land and sea. Their mission? To remove Saddam Hussein from power and disarm Iraq of its weapons of mass destruction. Good evening. The massive military operation to topple Saddam Hussein is now underway. American and British forces have been in action on the ground and in the air. Thousands of troops are on the move, supported by intense artillery fire. The Iraqis have responded by firing missiles into Kuwait. Tonight, Baghdad has again come under heavy bombardment and parts of the city are ablaze. This is the scene in the Iraqi capital right now after attacks on government premises and other key buildings, including, we're told, some of Saddam Hussein's residences. Iraqi forces have responded with heavy anti-aircraft fire. Tonight, the Americans warned that everything that's happened so far today is just a taste of what's to come. The assault began in the early hours of this morning when 40 cruise missiles were launched from carriers in the Gulf. Targets were hit across Baghdad until daybreak. At around 9 a.m., Iraqi forces fired missiles into Kuwait, prompting chemical and gas alerts across the country. Early this evening, the U.S. Army bombed southern Iraq. The ground invasion followed almost immediately. British Marines are said to have captured a port in southern Iraq, but the Iraqis deny this. The second night of bombing in Baghdad began shortly after 6 o'clock this evening. In the Iraqi capital, the Americans seem to be targeting fire at the Iraqi leadership, especially those buildings thought to belong to Saddam Hussein, his family and his close colleagues. From Baghdad, we've just received this report from Ragi Omar, whose report has been monitored by Iraqi officials. <laughs> 